Is ZCAD a commodity? Let's talk about that next. Hey folks, Chad Jackson with Lifecycle Insights here. Is ECAD a commodity? Um, before we take on that question, we've got to get on the same page. You can use ECAD to develop electrical systems or board systems. Today, we're going to be focusing on the board system side of things. So is it a commodity? Um, I think if we had asked that question five to ten years ago, I think most people would say yes. You know, when you look at developing schematics, diagrams, and layouts, a lot of the capabilities are the same. You might get some arguments from software providers, but in general, kind of all in the same class. Uh, differentiators are shades of gray, not black and white. However, in the last five years, there are five areas uh, that uh, have some differentiation in them. First is simulation. So allowing engineers to conduct a variety of analyses and checks, signal integrity, power integrity, things along those lines, on their own is something that's relatively new. Uh, number two, cloud accessibility. Uh, so actually moving the design to the cloud, moving the application to the cloud, actually that allows more downstream participants early access to the design definition and they can start their work earlier and more easily. Third area is integration with mechanical CAD. Uh, being able to pass changes back and forth and allow them to collaborate, mechanical engineers and electrical engineers to collaborate uh, more frequently and earlier in the board development process. The fourth thing uh, is 3D printing. So we're in the exploratory phase of this right now, but there's an ability to 3D print circuit boards, which is super interesting. But that brings up the possibility of integrating the enclosure and the board as a single piece. Um, so you can start to get very, very creative with that. So that's, that's more of an emerging capability, but I expect that to take off the next uh, little while. The fifth area is package design. So the interface between the board and the chip. Um, so many people are trying to squeeze so much performance out of their chips today. Uh, and especially with real-time uh, types of applications, optimizing that interface is crucial. So there's a lot of new capabilities there that'll let you optimize the package that is the interface between the chip and the board. So those are the five areas uh, that are differentiators today. Talk about simulation, cloud accessibility, integration with mechanical CAD, uh, 3D printing, and package design. That's it. Take care. Talk soon.